then I found this poor Lennis and Gear ZCB 120 meter in the bin. Got a broken glass, unfortunately. I had it sitting on a test run for a while, but it doesn't respond, so I need to analyze what the problem is of that. Uh, got that one still there, and then I got another meter there. And this is interesting, I need to clean this thing up. I found an S300.2, which is uh, in pretty bad condition. Two phase, two times uh, 230 volts, two times 1060. I like the terminal configuration, very unusual. I found a terminal cover too, which is a uh, red face on the left too. Blue face is on the right hand too, and the neutral is on the middle terminal. So, if we look at this, that's red face in, out, neutral in, neutral out, blue in, blue out. And the normal neutral ones have been blanked off. So, yeah. You can see the potential links as well, so I'm going to analyze that a bit more too. Not sure if the camera picks the pulses up, but uh, it is pulsing. Got flash, flash, but the dial is not going. Uh, so I'm going to change it to the low rate, see if that works. Uh, the other two meters they are in series and they're both going, so that one is responding. And we've got the email M3i is responding as well, so that's uh, all good. Well, I activated the other dial, I have to uh, short it out to the neutral, and that register is working. So, possibly the default driving device has failed for the bottom register, but the top one goes, so... I'll let it go for a while, that's at uh, 9.25 versus uh, 8.4, so I'll let that sit in tune. And in the meantime, I'm opening this device up because it's water in here. Oh, a bit wet. Oh, smells nice. smells nice. Here, there you go. You got the elements here. Element one, neutral, and element two. Interesting. There's some fluffy stuff on here. Oh yeah, there's some dust. So I need to remedy that on this uh, same amount meter. Coals look very good. They're not uh, burnt at all. So that looks quite nice. Turn the thing around. Well onto this sun-baked device. No signs of overload. Very happy. So here we've got a genuine S300.2 meter. And uh, yeah, disc is all good too. Not polling. I'll be connecting this up at some stage. Uh, really good to let it air out. Can't beat an uh, women cola on a hot uh, summer's day while playing with meters. And the missus is away, so I've got the house to myself. Kids, they sort themselves out, so it's all good. Brilliant. Just missed the hole over the tin. That's all good. Meters seem to work fine. This is a bin find. Um, unfortunately, this meter got smashed up. I did it have it on the test panel uh, last week. It was moving not on the low weight, on the this weight, but it was working on the other weight. So, Let's see if we can open this device. Let's see if we can repair it. A bit of hammering. Dent here. Pity. This is glass. Some broken stuff. Oh, something's broken in there too. Hmm. Put the camera on hold, otherwise it gets too boring. Well, got the name plate off.
Okay, so let's see if we can unbend it as best as we can. Uh, the device looks alright. The numbers, yeah, they look good. Interesting extensions on the LEDs here. There's an option for an extra digit in these. Oh, yeah, there you, go. you can unmesh these quite easy. I'll leave it on the existing reading for now. So, yeah, the kind of extra digits can be put in here. I've probably got another number for it, so I can make this as an eight digits. How many numbers will fit in there? At least another one. Yeah. So, here you've got the circuit board of the meter, and um, yeah. Looks alright, there's nothing burnt out. Good size terminal box and I've got a hall sensor in here I think. That's the way it's uh, set up. Can't beat nature all right. Well, this Landis Gear ZCB meter is running. Um, unfortunately, it only runs on the top register. The bottom register doesn't respond. Um, I think it's something to do with the switching transistor because uh, the indicator light is very dim and it sits on the normal weight. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to fix it and get a glass for it as well. Because, uh, yeah, it's not a meter I have in my connection. And this Lenders and Gear meter has advanced to 0175.2 while the bottom register is not working adjacent to the email meters. Which are the check meters on this particular setup. Three three four point eight. I only need to do a comparison reading for accuracy versus 9341.7 thereabouts. Just in the process with a dial test uh, versus an email M3i, and it's perfectly in step. I've just done a long duration test on this meter, and a start reading was initially uh, 353.0 versus this meter here, single phase, uh, single rate meter. It started at uh, 112153, so I've got the readings here on this paper. And the difference between the two meters is actually not much. The M3i recorded 216 kilowatt hours, the electronic meter recorded 217. So that is one unit different over 200, that's less than half a percent. So that's good for considering. Uh, and the potential calls were in series, so there is a little bit of drift as uh, expected for that. That meter runs uh, a bit faster, so uh, which is on purpose. So, yeah. so that's just a little update. I wanted to get this meter on the web. So this is one of the, well I haven't seen this on YouTube yet, the first meter uh, video was a ZCB 120D meter, lens and gear, um, single or two rate, but this at the moment works only on one uh, register for the time being, so I need to investigate why the other dial doesn't work. Just now those readings, that meter ends up 42020 and the other meter ends up on 20. This is uh, running with uh, units and the other meter on the left hand side is running per 10 kilometer hours units. Really cool. Of course for meter people that is uh, important information.